I want to apologize really quick in advance. You're going to see me probably reading off the screen because I'm trying to get this video out as quick as possible. And you're also going to hear a bit of the echo of this room because it's unfinished and untreated. The last time I had a series of demug videos, I kind of declared the classic Mac Pro was over. And then all of a sudden I was proven wrong days later when a hack came out giving users the ability to run the latest OS. Well, the same thing kind of happened because in the last video, I talked about the MacVidCards.eu releasing a 6600 XT and a 6800 flash for the classic Mac Pro. And I postulated maybe we'd see a community solution. And guess what? We already have. Again, our hero Syncretic on the Mac Rumors forums released a modified ROM for the AMD Navi 21 GPUs, which are the 6600, 6600 XT, 6800, 6800 XT, and 6900 XT, and is free for download today. The link is in the description of this video. This fixes the issue that exists on the ROM found on these GPUs that caused the boot sequence to become interrupted and thus not booting at all. In my previous video, I went into this in more detail and also in the link in the description of this video is Syncretic's post that also summarizes it or actually explains it in much better detail. The kicker here is you're going to need another computer to flash the GPU because if you stick it in your classic Mac Pro as is, it won't boot. So that's a bit of a catch-22 for some users. Find a friend with a PC, I guess. Also, in a bit of news, MacVidCars.eu released some more benchmarks on Reddit comparing the 6600 XT versus the 6800, running Shadow of the Tomb Raider in 4K at Ultra. And it's roughly 30%-ish better than the 5700 XT, which is right on par with what we had hoped to expect. If you go to a generic comparison website that lets you compare GPUs like usermark.com, you'll see it says roughly about 30% faster, so that's pretty good. All in all, it's pretty exciting times for the classic Mac Pro. I've already updated the definitive Mac Pro upgrade guide, and that link is in the description of this video, and also check the description for any other updates. I have to say I need to issue a minor correction for my last video because I said 6800 XT when I meant the 6800. Oh, and before I forget, one last tidbit. If you use the Flash Community ROM, you're probably never going to see a boot screen without using OpenCore. And that is because that's a MacVidCars.eu and MacVidCars.com specialty. So, oh well, it's free though. You don't have to pay for it, so that's good. And it's not quite drink o'clock yet on Friday, so I'm still sipping on the hop water instead of beer. So, peace.